Hey there, this is part two of teaching go where I point. Um, this is where we're going to start to add in furniture, getting up on the sofa, um, off of a bed, on or off of any sort of location in and out of the car. This can be a great way to help your dog move from point A to point B without having to physically move them. Um, it can also be really nice if your dog is on the sofa, maybe laying on a guest, they can just say hop down or off or go where I point and um, the dog will move without you having to physically move them. So we'll use Sunny here. We'll see if uh, she can play this game. So we're, we've already practiced. Whoop. Whoop. Good. So you can see she's guessing quite a bit and that's okay. Um, that's all part of training is um, figuring out what your dog truly understands. And she just assumed I was asking her to go up on the, on the couch. So try again. Good girl. I wanted her to go to her bed, but that's okay. Son. Good girl. She's pretty ramped up right now, so she's um, offering a lot of behaviors, which is fun, but not what I'm looking for. Good girl. Making sure to mark exactly what I want. Good girl. Good girl. Again, you can use, um, start to incorporate the words and the verbal cues that you'd like to use. So with Sunny, we can use up, good. Off, good girl. Now she's thinking a little bit more. Up, good girl. Off, good. Next step, we'll be incorporating it from different positions. Up, good. <laughs> She's jumping anyway, so it's fine to throw that word in. Off, good girl. Again, reinforcing where you want your dog to be, so on that bed. Up, good girl, Sunny. Good girl. Off, good girl, son. And that is part two of Go Where I Point.